Hey guys, welcome to Making Sawdust. I'm Kevin, and thank you for joining me. It is Jack and Lantern season, and I know many of you folks are out there cutting them out, selling them, maybe trying to jumpstart your small woodworking business, purchase a new tool, and we want to do these as fast as we possibly can. Volume sales is the key. Low investment, low cost of materials. Maybe use up some scrap. I'm going to show you the fastest way to cut out these phases. It's not a jigsaw which does work. It's not a scroll saw. That also works. And it's also not a CNC, so stick around. Uh, so a lot of guys are using jigsaws because mainly that's what we have. Uh, it's easy to cut out. If you have the right blade, you use the right technique, the right positioning on your workbench or your stool, you can actually achieve quite a good cut. Uh, not as uniform as maybe a scroll saw, but a scroll saw takes time. You got to insert the blade through each hole. You got four little holes on most of these jack lantern faces you got to cut out. And you wear out blades, and sometimes not everybody has a scroll saw. But today, YouTube Gold, it is a router jig, guys. Yes, we made a router jig or a fixture to use with a handheld router. Basically, these were finished faces for my jack lanterns that were actually cut on a jigsaw. Um, but I wanted to make it faster. Cutting the faces on a jigsaw, oh, between 5 and 10 minutes, based on the complexity of your face. Uh, scroll saw is about 10 minutes also, but I wanted to do a much fas faster way. We've sold close to 25 of these and it's only October 1st right now, October 2nd maybe if I am lazy editing this video, but the holiday is kicking in. People are wanting to buy these and I need to make more. So what I have done is I have outfitted my Ryobi router with a fixed base and I've used a quarter inch two flute cutter. I've also installed a 5 16 shoulder or collar or guide bearing if you want to call it. Uh, this is actually from a Porter Cable router but I did not want to take that Porter Cable router out of its current location which is my jointer. So this is what we're going to go for. I kind of retrofitted this and it works just fine. The fixture is super easy to build. We just took one of our existing faces and we're just gluing some 3 8 plywood to the sides of it basically as guides and it's also going to allow us to clamp it to the existing box. In hindsight I would actually cut out a new face and allow for my guide collar we are going to sacrifice about a sixteenth of an inch around all these surfaces and most of these holes will be fine obviously round bit round corners no big deal round bit round corners oop, till we get to about here where the eyeballs are we may be able to sacrifice that in our design and that's okay it's not written anywhere in the Constitution that we have to have a face that looks exactly like this. This is our design. Uh, it will probably look really good on this design too. We'll sacrifice round corners here, 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 and here, and maybe there too. But there's another option. You can come in with your jigsaw or a square file. Square those off if you like to. So our fixture just slides on after we've assembled our box. And we just clamp it pretty snug already Oop, just like that she's not going anywhere yep. what we're gonna do is we're just gonna plunge in we could do it a couple different ways we could actually drill a hole insert our quarter inch bit right down in there fire up our router go to town uh, I'm just gonna plunge right in I'm gonna rest my router on the side turn my router on and drive right down in Thank you. 
So honestly, that looks really good. I am okay with sacrificing our rounded corners. It really looks pretty good, guys. There is quite a few different ways to cut out your faces on these jack lanterns jigsaw, scroll saw, CNC if you got one. Um, obviously, you can use a router. I just showed you how to do this. I use a quarter inch two flute bit. And I use, I believe it's a 5 16 or a 3 8 uh, collar uh, that mounts into the base of my router. You could also use a bearing or a flush trim bit. You just want to make sure how you cut out your uh, initial face that you are allowing for a little bit of um, wiggle room, let's say. If you're using, like, for instance, we're using a 5 16 collar, our quarter inch bit. That's placing our bit about a 30 second away from our original template. So adjust your design accordingly. Uh, I try not to make too complex of faces. Those are really neat looking. There are some awesome looking designs out there. But I did want to show you a very fast way. All my customers are so delighted that they're unfinished because now they have a weekend project with their children or their grandchildren or themselves. I actually benefit from this because I can actually increase my volume of sales. Uh, there's actually a really good profit margin on the way I build my pumpkins. And I am not spending a lot of time into finishing. So I have about 17 or 18 of them behind me that are just ready to finish. i got to make the lids. But as soon as I get a message, I can finish one of those up just like that so I have eight finished in stock upstairs in my shed so I encourage you to possibly take the opportunity make a router fixture try to increase your volume sales this can jumpstart your small business this can buy you a scroll saw this could buy a new miter saw with the amount of profit that is in these guys and seasonal market you tackle the seasonal market early enough you can almost dominate Facebook Marketplace and really benefit there. The other benefit of this is possible repeat customers, not just for jack-o'-lanterns, but maybe you make benches or cutting boards, charcuterie boards, you name it. You have a customer at your location picking up one of these boxes, they might ask, what else do you do? So I already have a few custom orders out of this batch. So. This is a great way to do that. I encourage each and every one of you to, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit that like button, and everyone, leave a comment if you can. Tell me your experiences with the <laughs> squirrel picnic tables of Halloween area, and get out in your shop and make some sawdust, guys.